legendary Beverly Johnson and her daughter, Ananza Sims. <laughs> Yeah, Beverly, she over here jammed. Ooh, I love it. I am so excited that you both are here, but Beverly, you are have been on a short list of people that I have been begging to get on the show because I just ha have been inspired by you and I've always wanted to give you your flowers. Oh. So I thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. So sweet of you. Well, you, uh, man, no, no, no. I just want to say, to be the first black woman to grace the cover of American yeah. Vogue. Yeah. Right? Right here. Yeah. Beverly, can you believe that it's, okay, it's been 50 years, and, and can you believe that this cover still has such an impact today? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's wonderful. It really is. When you did it, like you, because you were in your 20s when you did this cover. Yes. Yes. Early, early 20s. Okay, so, so <laughs> nobody's counting. Nobody is counting because you still look, you look amazing. I do want to say this. Don't even get it twisted. <laughs> Sexiness is oozing from Beverly Johnson <laughs> right now. But like, when you, what, did you even think, okay, I'm the first black woman to do this? Did any of that go through your head? No, so so, in order to be a top model, you needed the American Vogue cover. Okay. So that's why I was striving for that cover. Yeah. Then, after I got the cover, I realized I was the first black woman to ever be on the cover of American Vogue. Yes. And that became, that just went globally. And so I didn't understand the gravitas mm -hmm. of that cover at that moment, but I learned a lot from that cover. And I, I told myself, that this is a huge responsibility. And I wanted to party and everything. I wasn't even thinking about it. You know, I just wanted to have a good time. Yeah. But I said to myself, I made a promise to myself that I was going to uphold that position the best that I could. Wow. And it's so, because you didn't even want to be a model. You wanted to be a lawyer. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes, I wanted to do what my daughter did. Went to, you know, got her BA and her MBA, and I, I, that's what I wanted. You know, <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Well, this is so great because we have children who, you know, we can live through, and yes. they carry on those the, the desires. Exactly. But Ananza, not only we'll talk about your your, your degrees and everything that you've a, accomplished, mm -hmm. but you are also one of the first plus size supermodels. Yes. So look at that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want that dress, I but took, I like that lace. I took that picture. This, you took this picture right here picture of, Ananza? of Ananza? Oh, so, you know what? In, in doing this, Ananza, was it hard breaking down those barriers? It was, because when I started, you know, plus size modeling had just got on the scene. Um, but I really love the idea of being able to represent women of all sizes. Yeah. Coming from a world of modeling, you know, with my mom, you had to be a size zero or a size two, mm. right? I thought, oh, I want to model one day, but I just was never that small, yeah. you know? So seeing someone like Takara on America's Next Top Model, yes. Yes. I was like, oh. Like, there's an industry for this size? Like, oh my God, I think this might be my fit. And I, you know, flew into New York, signed with Wilhelmina, and the next day, Essence booked me, like the very next day. Wow. They booked me on my first shoot, so. And then from there, I just kept shooting, kept working, and I love the feedback that I get from women saying like, oh my God, like it's so good to see women with curves. It's yes. so good to see someone else represented. No offense, mom, no offense. <laughs> no. She, she taught but, me so much, so much. She said to me, I said, well, she said, mom, I will never let anyone tell me how I should look ever again. That's it. That's it. It took me until I was 40 years old to get to that point. And I'm well, so proud of her. And she's taught me so much about myself and loving myself. Because, you know, as a model, yes. you, you know, you have, you know, issue with food. With the food and just the body figure, the body image, yeah. which is why, and it's so great because little brown girls and boys are looking right. at you going, I can do this. Right. This could be me. And yeah. this is beautiful. And this is and absolutely and beautiful. This, you know, 
So but I this love is what I, I have to say about your mama, which is so beautiful. You still modeling. You That's still walking right. the runways. You <laughs> haven't even yes. stopped. Look, look at you. Yes. You better go. What the? <laughs> okay, but now I, I, in looking at these pictures, Beverly, I just yes. gotta ask y'all, uh, you and Ananza, why do you always have the mad face on? <laughs> what are you mad at? You know why runway models always look angry? Why? They're hungry! <laughs> We're hungry! Oh my gosh! Uh -huh. <laughs> so are you saying it's okay if I see you walking, I can throw a cookie at your head? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yes. I just want to say to y'all, I'm very excited about the show, The Barnes Bunch. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On The Barnes Bunch. Now, Anansa, I, I, I just bow down to you because <laughs> you and your fiance, Matt Barnes, between the two of you, you have six children. Yes. Between the ages Aww. of five and 15. My baby. They're not grown. Aww. Please, beautiful. This <laughs> is a beautiful you. family. Thank you. What are your mornings like? Oh, oh. The mornings, I'm, I'm happy I missed this morning. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Matt's at home doing it by himself, and I'm so happy I'm here. Because um, the mornings are hectic. Yeah. You know, between making sure people really brush their teeth, <laughs> um, getting everyone breakfast, getting everyone dressed, their backpacks, and we there's four different schools that, that we, I drop to... off at. Four so... different schools for the six kids. You got so sports, my mor you got, oh. you know, oh, you pick Everyone up is, plays basketball, even the baby. Yeah. Every single one. A um, couple play football. It's it's a lot going on. It's a lot it's happening a lot. over at this household. It is. And you know, I love I love you and Matt make the best couple. I've Thank been following you. you on social media. Thank you. Y'all are that's my boo. That's your boo. <laughs> that's my boo. I remember when you had the when you had the baby shower and Aww. I was looking at that. Now Thank you guys you. have had uh, a long engagement. Yeah. Um can I ask when, when the ring gonna be? When, when you had a ring on you it? You know, I've kind of been the one dragging. Ooh, look at that ring. Okay. Ooh, this is a good that's style. a beautiful you know ring what? right Thank there. Thank you. He did good. He, he did, did really he did well. Good. But I've been dragging my feet. I, I wouldn't have minded being like Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, to be honest. Like companions? I've been married and before, and he's yes. been married before. And right. I, you know, so I feel like we both have those kind of like nerves. But we want to see you walk down the aisle. We said, Gary and we, Teresa. Yes. We, 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 <laughs> We set, a, we set a date. You did set a we date? We did set a date, September 2025. You're getting married in We're September 2025? Yes. So stay tuned to the Barnes Bunch because maybe we might put it on there, our wedding. We might share it with is the it world. Like, but is it like going to be here, Hackensack, uh, no, New Jersey? I, is it going to be <laughs> No. Shout out to Hackensack. No. <laughs> but I actually want to go to the Caribbean. To the Caribbean? I want to go to the there. Caribbean. I don't want to, I want it to be non-traditional, but beautiful, of course, yes. and elegant. I want my feet in the sand. I want turquoise water. Oh, I, I want the kids so with beautiful. us. Bouncing around. Mom. Yeah. Well, your yeah. mom is going to have to bring her husband because yes. congratulations oh, to you, Beverly. Yes. You married Brian last year. Mm -hmm. You yes. and Brian got married. Yes. Woo! <laughs> and this is what I love. You get, I mean, you you inspire, but you give hope to us. Yes. Like you found love uh, later in yes. life. How was that? It was really wonderful. God is good. Yes, he is. And and and, and people have always told me that I was going to marry late in life. And I would say, I don't know about you. I'm getting married, you know, because I've been yeah. married two times before. Okay. But this man came into my life, and I knew he was the right one. Really? But we, we were together for almost 12 years. Okay. But then how did you know it was the right time to tie the, tie the knot? So what happened was he wanted a big wedding of, like, 1,500 people, and I was like, no, I want 50 people. Okay. But anyways, one morning I just woke up. I sat up in bed, and I said, I know what I want my, for my birthday, because yeah. he's, you know, lavishing me with these gifts. He said, he sat up, he said, what? I said, I want to get married. He said, okay. I was like, and okay? And married. Wow. And so we literally, you know, went to Vegas. And, and got, got married. married. I was just in Vegas. I didn't get married. <laughs> Darn it. I mean, it was just like that. I got to look at it differently. You guys, I want to say thank you so much, Ananza and Beverly, for yes. being here. Yes. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. The Barnes Bunch premieres this Friday night at 10 on WeTV. We're going to have a good time.